a young child, my parents separated when I was about seven. And I was flung into two different worlds, the divine masculine, which was my father, and the divine feminine, my mother. I guess, you know, going on weekends to my father's house and my mother's on the weekdays, I really felt, uh, you know, the difference between the two worlds and how I fit in between them and how I needed both worlds to be me. And I brought that into my own life and I feel that's who I am now. So with this concept, it is really important for the child to acknowledge the feminine and the masculine. So yeah, I really want to honour both of these worlds. They are different, but they're actually quite similar and it, it, uh, you, need, you need both to uh, be one. I remember Jake first told me about his idea at Killen Falls, which is where we filmed The Clip for Divine. It was hot, we were swimming and he, he told me about it and you know, my initial thought was, this is such a big task. So we never really decided to do a double album. It was kind of just this idea Jake threw at us one day when we were doing pre-production for like the, our record and Jake was just, came up with this crazy idea. He's like, guys, look, I, we've got so much time on our hands. Like, why don't we just record, you know, like 24 songs? and just go wow, We had like, at the time he said it, we had like eight tracks or something like that. Most people go into the studio with uh, just more than enough songs for one album, whereas we were trying to push ourselves to write enough songs to fill out two albums. Everyone worked really hard and it really pushed me to to try and do different things creatively because we couldn't have 22 tracks that all sounded the same. You know, so the more music you have to write, the more diverse you want to go to make it all different. You could possibly have two records that weren't that good because you're trying to write so many tracks. And that was a very daunting thing with this project but we, we pulled through and I feel like we really came out with both records, such a different sound, and both of them I like equally as much, you know, um, if not the second one, even more, which I never thought you know, would happen. We uh, had decided between the label and the band that we wanted to keep this a secret. That, uh, no one knew, had known that we'd gone to America, that we'd fitted in all before Christmas, and we'd done, we'd you know, created this whole project and recorded 22 tracks in, I think it was six and a half to seven weeks, which is what you would do for one album. While we were recording over in Michigan, in Bay City, a little, little country town where it is, uh, it was so cold. Outside was not really an option. Outside was like you would go to a car or you would, you know, be getting out of a car and going to a house. That was, that was, that was it, really. I mean, we always had the backup plan of just doing one record, but in the back of our minds, we always really wanted to push for the double. It did become quite uh, draining trying to squeeze out as many songs in certain days because we had a time frame that we had to work with. The concept for Earthwalk and Skydancer was Mother Earth and Father Sky. And that is something in particularly Native American Indian culture. They, uh, they believe that, yeah, there is Father Sky and there is Mother Earth. And we, the in indigenous native culture, as they say, exist in between and we cannot exist without the other. And that is how we are the whole. So Earthwalker are uh, the feminine side of things very uh green and blue with its art and uh the songs all relate to the feminine world in some way particularly divine and that was brought to life in the film clip uh, particularly with the journey of 
Sophie, and she you know, journeys through this feminine world, nature, in all its uh, shades of light and dark. And with Sky Dancer, that is the sky. And with the sky comes the deep purples and the blues and the reds of the sun. And uh, a mirroring divine, you would say, would be Breakaway. And Breakaway is the journey of a, of a wizard. And uh, yeah, it's really encapsulating that male power and leadership and cultivating the elements and learning manhood. You can lay Skydancer, the booklet, face down and you can put Earthwalker face down below it and it makes up the complete picture above and below of the sky and the earth. One of the clues that we left uh, for fans to discover in their own time was a little uh, inlay booklet. It's the lyrics to Breakaway, which is the single on Skydancer. It was discovered, someone posted on our Facebook, hey, I just dropped my CD in the kitchen and all the pieces fell out and uh, there's this secret booklet in there and it's got lyrics that I've never heard. For Earthwalk, it was much more personal and that to me is where the feminine, the emotive side, the sensitive side, it can often be hard for a lot of males to bring up that kind of thing. So it was a challenge, for sure. And then I guess I went through the, male, the masculine journey of Skydancer, a lot of manhood and being a man and showing responsibility for everyone. It was totally that. At the end of the day, I want to get across that both rely on each other. And that's our little... Um, little message to the world to appreciate both and how they're different from each other and to respect each from being different. Sky dancers, the air that surrounds us is the same air within us. We breathe through our lungs just as the earth breeds through the trees. Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. <laughs> <laughs>